afternoon. Um, you are the trainer for Mastering LNG at YFF. So thank you very much for coming to see us to discuss the benefits yeah. of the course and what delegates would attend. So first of all, you've been involved in the LNG industry for many years now. So can you give us a brief insight to your background? Okay, Celine. Um, I've had a very strange background. The first half of my career was all to do with um, electricity companies and power generation. And as I trained as an engineer, I then became uh, interested in natural gas. So I moved into the natural gas industry for the last 15 years or so. Uh, the last six or seven of those have been heavily structured around LNG activities, both upstream uh, in terms of gas monetization and liquefaction plants right through to import terminals and LNG trading. So it's, um, I've steadily been moving more upstream I think would be a good description of my career so far. <laughs> All right. Um, clearly there's an explosion of interest in energy around the world. What makes LNG so unique and why does it attract so much focus? Okay, um, I'll take them in reverse order. Why does mm -hmm. it attract so much focus? Um, largely because it's greatly misunderstood around the world. Um, and the industry itself has changed dramatically over the last um, probably five to six years. It used to be a very traditional business, now it's a very dynamic business. Um, so that's really why people are interested in it. And that drives the whole of the interest around the world. The other factor is there's very big money involved. And we're talking billions of US dollars for a plant or something like this. And money always attracts interest. <laughs> okay. So what are the trends you see for the industry over the short to medium term? That's a very difficult one to answer at the moment because we're in a very strange market due to the recession globally. And we were hit by a kind of a double whammy because we have excess supply in the market as well. So short term dynamics and trends in the market is largely down to people taking opportunities to make short term profits. So there's a lot more short-term trading in the market than there normally is. And medium term, hopefully, if demand returns around the world, um, we'll get back to a more stable market. Um, but when that's going to happen is um, part of what the course actually tells you. <laughs> okay, then moving on to the course. So the LNG course, can you tell us a bit about what it covers? Yeah. Um, well, obviously, people can download the brochure from the website, but it covers everything from the really upstream stuff, uh, as what is natural gas, how does it become LNG, um, right through the liquefaction process, the shipping, the import terminals, and the trading. So, essentially, it's the whole of the supply and the value chain of LNG. Um, we try to approach it, or I try to approach it in a non-technical way. But clearly there are technical issues within that because we cover both the engineering um, and the commercial right through to short-term trading. Okay. The course is always, nearly always oversubscribed. Why do you think the market is so keen to increase the level of knowledge on LNG? That kind of goes back to what I said at the beginning. It's pretty much misunderstood around the world. But everybody realizes that it is the method of moving natural gas which is developing the future demand or meeting the future demand around the world. So people want to understand what is all the fuss about LNG? Why is it important now? Um, why hasn't it been important in the past? Um, so it's really people trying to understand conceptually what this LNG business is all about. Even people that have been in the LNG business perhaps 20 years ago, because it's a very old business. The LNG business we see now bears no relationship to the 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. 
So what do you think the type of person, what type of person would benefit from the course? I'd have to say everybody, wouldn't I? But this, really it's um, everybody who wants to understand what LNG is, um, how it's created, how it's moved, how it's traded. Um, so it can be, it can stretch from non-technical people, of which we see a lot in the course, um, including lawyers and investment bankers, through to business analysts, through to oil people who want to understand, right through to traders. So it's a, it's a catch-all type course because it covers the whole of the supply chain. Excellent. So what would you say are the take-home benefits delegate will gain from the course? A comprehensive understanding of what the whole of the LNG business is all about to begin with. And for those people who are already in part of the business, they will gain a, a tremendous uh, benefit from understanding the, the rest of the business. Because if you're only in one part, you can't get a concept or an understanding of the whole of the supply chain and the value chain and how the money moves around and indeed how the LNG moves around. Super. Well, many thanks, Lee, for joining us. Thank you. Bye. Bye.